everybody and welcome to third beard fishing i am solomon and in today's video we are out on the beach today and we are going to be doing some shark fishing that is the main focus of today's video i have not caught any kind of decent sized shark in so long i have got the itch and i am going to pull out all the stops today to try to catch something nice uh something cool even a new species for me uh <laughs> we're gonna see what we can do um i have ladyfish i have mullet i have lane snapper head i have what else do i have i have shrimp um i have stingray and i even have a gigantic bonita which is a type of tuna so we're gonna try all kinds of different baits today. I am planning on being out here all a freaking day. It is promising there's a guy down the beach that literally just caught a shark. <laughs> I just watched him, he just let it go. So we're gonna see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get fishing. Before we begin this awesome video, I want to show you guys something. My views are mostly from non-subscribers, about 86%. So if you guys are watching this and you are not subscribed, please take the time to subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I greatly appreciate your subscription. Now back to this awesome video. That was a huge bite. Did he just break it off? Wow, I don't feel anything. Can I just get broke off? Or bit off? I don't even feel my sinker anymore. What just happened? There is no way that that just broke my whole line. It sure did. What the heck? Drag was loose and everything. <gasps> it broke. Ah. Oh. They did not tie that rig well. Look at that crap. Daggummit. Absolute poorly tied pompano rig. And it busted right there. I don't know what they tied that with. That was my only bite I've had so far today. What a bunch of garbage. Daggummit. That was a good, good fish. I gotta be honest. Brevard County, Florida is not really known well for for quality shells and definitely not for shark's teeth but this is a pretty cool little find here check out this piece of good size starf uh, uh sand dollar starfish <laughs> sand dollar i mean that's a nice chunk here's the bottom that's where the mouth would be here's the top that's really cool i'm actually going to save this and take it home to the wife i think the wife will like it awesome cool find Good head shake. Eh, it doesn't feel super heavy, but I definitely got some head shakes. That's good. Hopefully it's not a cat. Yeah. Oh, nope, I don't think it is. Is it? I don't think so. Well, it might be. It's a big one. Oh, it's a shark. Yay. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm here for. All right. Yeah, this is definitely a black tip. Hey, buddy. All right. Whoop, 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 whoop. Don't want to get my bit, get my toes bit here. Oh. Ow. Just hurt myself pretty bad. All right, first shark of the day, fellas and, and ladies. Nice little black tip. Let me get this out here. There we go. Nice little black tip. You can tell it's a black tip. It does not have the little black tip right here on the anal fin, uh, which is indicative of a black tip sh uh, shark. If it did have the black tip around here, it would be a spinner shark. 
So I'm gonna get this guy back in the water. Beautiful, beautiful species. First shark of the day, hallelujah. Finally. Yep, that's yeah, finally a freaking fish. Probably a catfish. But, well, is it still on? Yeah, it's still on. Oh, thank you. Another freaking fish. It has taken all day to catch another fish. Let's see what it is. Yeah, that's what I figured it would be. Ugh. It's a catfish. What? I mean, at least it's another fish. But I've literally fished all day. Uh, I got here at seven and uh, caught a black tip sometime around, I don't know, 5.30 or something. Or, not 5.30. Uh, like 8.30. And I finally caught a catfish. Here it is at 4.30 or something. So, oh well. Look at that, folks. Look at those rays. Big rays right here. Oh, there's another. There's a couple of them over there, too. Well, that's cool. Look how close I am to these things. So neat. Are those cow nose? Those might be. Uh, actually, no, they might have spots. I can't tell. Wow, that's neat. That's awesome. Well, it is currently raining. Um, the umbrella isn't really doing much, but it's been real hot today, so. Uh, <laughs> I'm just living it up and letting that cold rain feel good. Uh, all my what, all the stuff that I'm worried about getting wet is, is is okay and not I'm not worried about it right now. So it's gonna sit here. This is a little shower. It'll move past pretty soon, and then I'll get back to fishing. <sighs> Feels good. broke my still have a sinker jeez that was a massive hit I bet you I don't have a hook anymore let's see if I still have a hook <laughs> dang what a hit look at that now well, the fish are here. Bummer. I bet that was a shark. Could have been a big tarpon. Because I literally just saw one. Gosh, that laid my whole rod over it. Man, that's just what happened yesterday, too. Freaking A. It's gonna be the same way today, I bet. Crap. Well, at least I didn't lose my tackle. Holy smokes, that was a nuts bite. Yeah, I think we got a fish on here now. Maybe we did, I don't know. Yeah, there's a few here. Whoa! 
I didn't even know this was a possibility for a kick. It's a remora. What? Wow. Now that is an incredibly cool fish. get this off I have never heard of anybody catching one of these hold on buddy so these are the fish that you see uh, sitting on sharks and whales and all kinds of stuff they've got this this plate here on the back um, it's not going to work right now, but they actually, if it's wet, they can stick to, to stuff, and they'll actually stick to human skin. Um, so they'll stick on, oh, he almost did there on my glove. They'll stick on, and they'll actually feed on stuff. So that is really something else. That is absolutely the craziest thing I have ever caught. There you go. All right, folks, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. I've got a storm rolling in behind me. You know, I don't really wanna be out here with a bunch of lightning rods out in the open on the beach, so I'm gonna call it. Uh, it's been rough. I, whoever it is that has put a fishing hex on me the past few months, uh, if, you got, if you would just go ahead and take that off, I'd really appreciate it. It's just been brutal. But I'm not the only one. I've talked to a number of people and it's just been really tough everywhere right now. I think it's probably just due to the really, really severe heat here in Florida. Um, so yeah, I, it is what it is. I think I'm gonna change it up and do something else going forward, but we'll see what happens. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys on the next video and I'll see you back on the water. Take care. Hello everyone, if you could, I'd love for you guys to check out my father-in-law's YouTube channel. It's a YouTube channel that I also edit videos for called Bearded Lumber. They are a full-service sawmill and kiln channel, and they are an amazing channel. I hope you guys will check them out. The link is in the description of this video, so check them out. You'll really, really enjoy this YouTube channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching the third Beard channel. Here's a video selection, and here's a playlist suggestion. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you.